out here in Carolina with my friend and mother, Miss Helen Fraser, showing me how to catch crabs. So that's a crab trap. Good fishing. Okay, and look. <laughs> We're fishing it. It's one live, it's a live crab right there. In this crab, in this trap. And we have extra fish heads. We don't need to put nothing in there. We can just throw this one back out because the fish is uh, in there. I probably caught these uh, probably Wednesday. They've already died. The trap also catches fish, okay. not just crabs. Okay. So what will happen here? is that we just throw these fish back in there. You see how they eyeball it. And the crab, he's already eaten these. So, you always have to put the holes down. Okay? So, three good fish going because I was not here to go get them. All right, I got to stand here. Crab on the rock right there. They all over though, y'all. Oh, all right. Let me see the trap. Okay. All right. Trap going in the water. That one sitting in the rock room. He ran into the rock. Yeah. Right there. This one behind the rock. <laughs> yeah, yeah they, these crabs are very fast. They really ain't gonna let you pick them up too much. They're extremely quick. All these holes right here in the ground is these crabs houses and they these crabs are very fast and these houses are very unique because with them being created the way that they have them created the holes is going to allow for the creation of an echo right and this echo is going to help with the vibration and it's going to help them tune in and alert that somebody is coming. So even before you even approach this water, because of this sound system that they have in their homes that they have created, because of the sound system that they have created in their homes, they know you're coming to the water before you even come. And they'd be so alert. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video, though. Coming from your brother Floyd Williams out here in South Carolina. Learning from my elder. Got another crab house. Crab trap house. You see. It's, it's, it's so many ways. So many ways to trap family. We ain't got to be stuck on the block. We need to be uh, embracing the stuff. Uh, all kind of levels. What they call it? What they uh? What? Crab trap. It's a crab trap. No, but when you um uh uh shrimp boat man, shrimp boat man, whatever. It's all kind of ways to trap. We gotta expand our horizons as a people. We can get. We need to be breaking into all these industries. But this is how people fed their families back in the day on, off the land. They didn't go to no store because they didn't have money to buy fish and crabs so you had to come out here and work the land to eat now everybody goes to burger king popeyes and and hardy's and die as a result of it you got to start eating healthy mm. in order to live you got to eat to live yes, it's a indeed. trap take it from an elder and so the food that you get from the land it's going to be much fresher. You don't have to worry about it being, uh, you know, poisoned with different um, chemicals and hormones and everything else. Because you caught that yourself fresh, you know. And the only way for something to be really fresh is when you 
You know, you prick it off the tree yourself. That's fresh. You pull it out the water yourself. It's fresh. Okay, but we got to um, embrace this type of stuff again. And so I'm glad to be spending this time with my friend, Elder, my mother, and everything. Now, if we don't catch crabs out of here because see, they get out that way. But we're going to throw it out there. They need to eat, too. Okay. And also, these trees are hitting me. That's an oak tree. That's a pine. And that's an oak. And the oak tree has, has moss hanging off of it. A symbiotic relationship. Meaning that the oak lives because the moss survives. And the moss survives because the oak lives. And they love each other. And they depend on each other to survive. Symbiotic, meaning we need each other to live. Exactly. Symbiotic relationship. And that's what we have with the planet and the earth as human beings, a symbiotic relationship. We part, we one with the organism and outside of the organism, you know, we could not survive. And so in a way, as human beings, we still have an umbilical cord attached to us. Okay. Because the air that we pull in is also pulled in through the chakras. Then the chakras are, are wheels of vortex of power that pulls in the life force. And so if we weren't able to do that, relate to our environment in that sense, be one with it, we couldn't be here. And uh, something else that she explained to me earlier about these trees, about the oak tree, is that the moss absorbs the moisture and the humidity in the environment. And this is why they are placed where they are in tropical regions. It absorbs the moisture in these environments. And so, and, and so this just shows the wisdom of the creatress and the creator. <laughs> How things is placed and arranged. There's no such thing as an accident. Nothing is by chance. Accidents and coincidences are nothing but laws are nothing but terms to describe laws or things of the universe that man cannot define. Other than that, enjoy your day. Floyd Williams coming to you. Hope you find the video resourceful and uh, empowering and you can take something from it.